as we get to the teenager stage, your business is independent mostly, but needs a lot of persistent and consistent leadership. And if any of you have got teenagers, you will know teenagers are inherently selfish. Um, and if you leave them alone for a minute, they tend to do really naughty things or just push the boundaries a bit. And the same will happen in your business. If you take your eye off the ball, then things will start getting pushed, quality will go out the window. Um, and that's when you've got a teenager. It can be good, but it can go off track as well. But when you are measuring what impact this sickness, real or not, is having on the business, you hit a point where you go, it's unsustainable. I really like that because you're right. It's not the, you know, we, we had a team member off for a couple of weeks with a bad back, but we knew she was off for two weeks. So it wasn't every day causing chaos. No. Whereas actually somebody that you think is coming in and then it's 10 o'clock and they've not arrived. That's the worst kind of absence. Yeah. Have I just converted you to the Bradford Factor, Diane? You might have. I'm going to Google it. <laughs> so if I told you I've just told you another lie, <laughs> And I said that I wasn't just going to show you how to make 61% more profit. I sound like a used car salesman, but it's not. This is genuinely true. Um, and rather than 248% profit, would you like me to show you how to make 640% more profit? <laughs> so I, oh, I got so frustrated with this. I uh, don't like cleaning in a room of clients. It's much easier for me if I clean one that isn't. So I said, okay, where are you going to sit? And they said, I'm going to sit in the lounge. I said, fine, I will clean the kitchen. I was alone on this plane. Went to clean the kitchen and she comes in and starts making a cup of tea. I was like, shall I go around the lounge? She's like, oh, all right then. So I start doing the lounge. She comes in and starts doing her work while I'm in the lounge now. I was like, what do I do? Do I go back to the kitchen? So I, she's there and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to make polite conversation. So I start making conversation. She's like, look, Louise, I really can't talk to you. I've got work to get on with. I was like, huh? Anyway, right. <laughs> by then, go back to the kitchen because I don't want to be making this conversation anyway. And she complained about me. So um, I was just covering and cleaning. She complained about me to the office of being distracting. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> I don't know how hard I tried not to be distracting. <laughs>